teaching a class and there's 50 people in my class and there's all kinds of energy levels with kickboxing right some people are like ah some people are like oh, I hate my day okay the rule that I teach my staff is you as an individual have to have more energy energy than everybody else and that's a lot of energy to have but let's check this out you go to a, a heavy metal concert or a rock concert, or you go to any concert worth its beans, where, where the crowd is going nuts. I guarantee you the performer, if they're doing well, singly as an individual, has more energy than every single individual out there. Even though some people might be going nuts, watch it. They're going nuts to the degree that this person can handle it. A Celine Dion concert is not going to have people screaming. It just doesn't work. A Marilyn Manson concert, people are going to be going nuts. Little Wayne creates the same effect on the crowd. These are the people that you call great MCs because they'll get the crowd going. But watch the guy up there sweating, losing his voice, going nuts, bugging, grabbing shit, breaking shit. Right? If at any point the audience has more energy than him, it sucks. It's over. It's done. Okay? You have to have more energy than whatever it is that you're going to create an effect on. If I'm causing... And this is the effect. My energy has to be greater than the effect. Unless I'm creating an effect of giving me sympathy, feel bad for me, that's when I can have less energy and create an effect on somebody because I want them to be stronger than me. You see that? But... If I want to run the interaction this way, I have to have more energy. If I have way too much energy, like it looks like this, then I scare them. That's them running that way. That guy's too much. I've been there. I've been there. So I have to continuously tone my shit down throughout the day. In fact, I feel like Caesar Milan when he runs his dogs. They're calmer. Now that I've been training two hours every morning, I <laughs> don't have energy. Throughout the day, it's like it's different, man. When I wasn't, it'd be like fucking 3 a.m. I'm still up. Huh. Like, damn, sleep stupid. It's a waste of time. Now I'm like, oh, God. Can't sleep. I can't wait to sleep. Can't wait to sleep. Recover. Recover. Okay. Wake up. Back to the same grind. But your energy has to be calibrated to them. Think about it. You have a kid in front of you. And you woke up and you go, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? So, oh, shit. Okay. How would you control the kid with energy? You have to have a little bit more. Now, it doesn't energy doesn't necessarily mean this kind of energy. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. You should be able to feel energy. Like there's potential energy. I wish I knew fucking um, symbols for that. Potential energy. What's the symbol you put next to it that make it work? I don't it's know. like E sub P something. Oh, yeah? P, E, that works. That would look That's really cool. cool in the pickup video, right? <laughs> this dude is so sick. <laughs> Potential energy right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potential energy has to be greater. <laughs> this is sick. I like it. Okay. Uh, your potential energy. It's like this. You see a pit bull or a lion and it's sitting there under the shade. But in that motherfucker, there's so much power. It's obvious. He can go from there to up. Energy picks up. Locks in on you. No, oh man. Oh wow, that's a lot of potential energy. Here's another potential energy. A sloth. I don't know if you know what that is. You know what a sloth is? You know what a sloth is? No. It's this fucked up looking animal. It's like, I would wish all my enemies to turn into a fucking sloth next life. And I'll be a fucking bald eagle and eat your motherfucking asses. That's the dumbest animal God created, I think. Okay, a sloth. It's this weird monkey, human, hairy, <laughs> fucking claw thing. But it's, it's the slowest land animal, mammal. It literally moves like that. That's what it looks like. Look how ugly that motherfucker is. <laughs> you walk. 
Yeah, it's <laughs> so ugly. It's so ugly. It has no defense. Zero. It's it's the most pussiest animal in the world. I think that snails could kick his ass by just putting foam in his face. A snail and the sloth would be like... <laughs> and be like foaming and then would die because it can't move fast enough. That fucker sucks, okay? The potential energy of a sloth is, is fucked up. An eagle sitting there has potential energy. A squirrel has energy. Now, you don't want to be the goddamn squirrel in the set. You want to be the lion, the tiger, the bear, the eagle, the pit bull. Why? Those are all fucking very powerful animals. She's attracted to that shit. She has chihuahuas. I have some friends that are very pretty that have chihuahuas. She see how they treat the chihuahua. Oh my god, I know you. You're my life. Oh man, don't ever fucking talk to me like that. No, no, no. It's stupid. I don't, I'm not your fucking chihuahua, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Okay? Your potential energy. How do you communicate your potential energy? Well, fuck. I don't know if you can fake this thing. I hope not. That sucks. Because I don't have to fake it. What is your energy level? Now, if you have goals, ambition, goals, ambition, if you work out, nutrition, if you're driven, some of that shit equals, what's that? What's the confidence? Confidence, sure. If you have that stuff, that's potential energy. She can feel that potential in you. Because a person with ambition looks and acts different. Someone's going somewhere, it's different. If you stand for shit, the opposite of that would be no goals, no ambition, no workout. And that person's potential energy is very fucking low. Now they can be all excited because they're on crack. That's weird. That's what they look like. That guy's got a lot of energy and he looks fucked up. Okay? So this is something for you to look at. Now, are you going to walk into a set that has more energy than you? Because you're going to fail. <laughs> you're just going to fail, dude. Good luck. Good luck. The best you'll get, they feel sorry for you. God, I hate that. Pity? Look, fuck it. Don't pity me. Okay? Are you going to walk into a set that you have way too much energy for? You're going to scare them. This is straight, standard fucking mystery method uh, concept. Handle that crowd. That would be fucked, dude. I gotta be a little crazier, a little wilder than them. Too much would be too much. So all this shit you have to have the basic concepts of. You gotta get it, man. You're about to walk into the set. Where's your energy level? You're about to teach a student. Where's your energy level? You're about to help your friend. Your friend has more energy than you. You're not gonna help your friend. Your friend's gonna piss you off and you're gonna piss off your friend. That's what's gonna happen. You're not gonna get along. You gotta be able to match and raise slightly their energy, okay? So this is a shit for you to think about. How does it relate to yin and yang? Well, I don't know how that relates to yin and yang. Yin and yang is supposed to be the underlying principle of all life when it comes to Chinese philosophy, but I'm not there yet, so let's not worry about it. I don't know if I ever want to be there with that. Got my own philosophy somewhere. Okay, so, any questions, anything spark out, uh, spark off for you? Ideas, anything. Does that have to be a question? Anything like, whoa, yeah, I just got this, or... Kind of like the uh, Godfather. I think it's very kind of shows that he's very calm but he knows you know he can make shit happen and he doesn't have to be all hyped up or be like Tupac where he's you know Tupac is full of energy but you know the godfather he's like one call, one call and he can make people disappear you know the same kind of potential energy that's right now the god is a good example because the godfather has symbols around him all over him that symbolize power Right? He's not sitting in a, in a tra trailer park, in a park, you know, with <clears throat> a shitty little raggedy dog saying, I'm going to make him laugh if he can't refuse. No, it's not going to happen like that. You know, he's, a, he's in his element. So, uh, I saw the video of you uh, uh, singing, whatever. It looks good. That energy, that's, that's good, man. You're in, you're in your place. That should be on Facebook or pictures should go up as soon as possible. I didn't even see the video of it yet, so... <laughs> yeah? No, it's good. Pictures are good. There's some really good pictures there. Did you download it? Did you download it or did you erase it? It's on there. It's on my... It's on my... Uh, okay. Hard drive. It's on my computer. <laughs> okay, good. So, <clears throat> the... the uh, we're kind of transitioning here, but 
But the image that you give from your Facebook is that too, right? You can look at my Facebook right after this. I know what default picture I have. It's an energy picture. It's powerful. I, I have girls around me. I'm in a place. It's cool. I mean, I can pick any picture, but I know what picture I'm picking. It has to demonstrate. Your Facebook has demonstrate that. One of uh, my friends, a girl, uh, put up the other day, but she's starting to work for me now. Oh, basically dying. My girlfriend texted her right away. Take that off. She goes, I learned, my girlfriend showed me the text. She goes, I learned from Rosh, you never do that. She goes, you never let your enemy see you sweat. She goes, take that shit off. Because you're doing nothing but making yourself look stupid. So she did. She took it off. Good. Because it was weird. Look at that. Why, why, why would I want to read that? I wake up in the morning. One of the first things I do is I check the news, which is Facebook. I'm laying there as I'm fucking preparing to get the fuck out of bed. Dying. Body aches. Blow. Oh, thank you. Okay. Ugh, ugh, U G H H. It's Monday. Oh, get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm craving coffee. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> somebody, somebody, right? And they go, and they get to mine. Call the cops when you see a rush. Grab the glocks with your glocks when you see a rush. Call the cops when you see a rush. You shot me, but you punks didn't finish. Now you're about to feel the wrath of menace. Wow, that motherfucker's got some energy in the morning. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Go kill somebody? Shit. All right, not bad. A little aggressive, but hell, I know who was looking that day. So I put it up for a reason. Okay, so if you put all this shit together, you start to understand that money equals in our society energy. Oh yeah, don't believe me? I'll show you. I'll show you. Whatever it is that you're going to be spending money on, okay, or gathering money, you have to exert, to the degree you're getting that money, a certain level of energy, okay? So I'll give you an example. If you want to work out a lot, you have to spend more money, okay? If you're going to eat a lot, you're going to spend more money. If you're going to drive a car that takes more gas or has expensive repair, you're going to spend more money because that car takes more energy from people supposedly to make it fucking run. In our society, energy and money are interchangeable. Okay? It also goes together. Well, that's, that's just a money principle, so I'm going to keep that back. Let's stay on the energy, okay? So, if you look at somebody who has energy, and you're going to invest your money, you have $100, and you go, okay, guys, we're about to go to any game, any poker game, any sports game, any business. I say, here's two guys, and one guy's energy level of 75, 100 being max, to the guy's energy level of 35. Go ahead and invest. I mean, what motherfucker would like it? 35, here we go. I'm putting my money on that motherfucker, that $35 guy, the 35 energy guy. No! We put our money where energy is. I know that when I'm dead fucking tired and about to teach a kickboxing class. So I prepare. Because I'm not going to get in there and not give them energy. This is not going to happen, dude. Because that's my lifeline. That's why I'm getting paid. Right? I'm not going to walk in here no matter what the fuck's going on and not put energy in it. Just, it's not going to happen. As a teacher, that's what I do. That's what you have to think about too. So when they see you with energy around you or things that represent energy, a handcrafted piece of Clothing will cost a lot more than a machine because a lot more energy is put into that. That's all it is. So on a subconscious level, people are, are checking that shit out too. How weird would it be? We see a, a, a fucking Lamborghini drive up. Right? We see a guy get out and he's like this. I mean, fuck, it could happen, but it doesn't. We expect the car to get out, the fucking guy to get out like... There's like an expectation of what a guy should get out of a Lamborghini looking like. Or a limo rolls up, door opens, five beautiful girls with great replication value walk out, and then a dude walks out. <laughs> what's happening here, man? What is that guy, a multi-billionaire ready to die tomorrow and that's what's happening? We, it doesn't make sense. Again, we expect that life.